Our next lesson is tachycardia, which occurs when the heart rate is greater than 100 beats per minute. When the heart beats too quickly, there is a shortened relaxation phase. Tachycardia includes two main problems, which are low cardiac output and decreased supply of blood to the heart. Tachycardia is classified as stable or unstable. The heart rate greater or equal to 150 beats per minute will usually cause symptoms. Both stable and unstable tachycardia always requires prompt attention. The symptoms of tachycardia include hypotension, sweating, pulmonary edema and congestion, jugular venous distension, chest pain, shortness of breath, weakness, dizziness, lightheadedness, and altered mental state. Here are the steps for symptomatic tachycardia with pulse greater than 100 beats per minute. If the patient is unstable, provide immediate synchronized cardioversion. Assess patient's hemodynamic status. Follow these steps if the patient has regular narrow complex tachycardia. If the patient has irregular narrow complex tachycardia, follow these steps. For regular wide complex tachycardia, follow the steps here. Finally, for a regular wide complex tachycardia, follow these steps. Here are the rules for sinus tachycardia. We encourage you to study every table, which can be found in your provided handbook. Here are the rules for atrial flutter. Finally, here are the rules for atrial fibrillation, or AFib. Here is the adult tachycardia with pulse algorithm. We encourage you to take this time to study the algorithm in the manual. This concludes the lesson on tachycardia.